Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>welcome bruce wards here everyone from montreal quebec canada it's cold it's still cold out there but i did a lot of infrared filming last night got some great stuff guys i'm going to share this all with you guys in this video so often for the past few days poor you guys i've been in canis major right stuck in canis major this is alongside beetlejuice by the way we see an object going by uh, I tried to track what looked like a satellite. Uh, it's very small, and that I do think it's a satellite. We'll talk about that later. And here is, we're back in uh, Canis Major, Sirius star system. Um, look at this object that's going to fly by Sirius star. So what we're going to see in this video, guys, we're going to see now, and every constellation I go to, I will tell you which constellation we're in, which stars that we're looking at. It'll be more interesting. And we're going to view the activity in the constellation of Orion, the constellation of Canis Major, and we're going to be in the constellation of Taurus today. So now we'll go to the next frame here. We're still in uh, Canis Major, and we're looking at objects going by. Now, if I've ever seen a satellite, I would have to say probably maybe this object could I hope you guys are seeing it. It's going by, it's not very big, but even even so, it still is big, but I'm not zoomed out, and I think that could possibly um, be a satellite. We're seeing it go by here a second time from right to left. It's on the proper trajectory around the world and not on an uneven path. Yeah, that's what, how I believe that we could see them. Maybe, right? I'm still not confirmed. Um, nothing's confirming to me that it actually is um, <laughs> a satellite. And we'll be seeing UFOs later, I'll tell you that, over Rigel. Three objects in a sort of formation, I believe, on the same trajectory. And I'll see five of them go by in a period of two minutes. So by changing constellations, we're seeing uh, a lot of different objects going by, probably a lot of different sizes. So this is, is serious. Yes, very serious. <laughs> we see here again, going down very slowly see that would not be a satellite you know it's just slivers i call them but slivers can be a couple thousand uh, feet or a couple hundred meters a flash here of light um, that i caught those are other things uh, you'll see at one point guys i caught a meteor or asteroid going by and we're seeing flashes of light around it oh, i was able to slow it down and get in and show you guys we'll see that also a bit later Really, really good video. Really happy with yesterday and happy that I have those rechargeable batteries. The first set of four guys, I was able to film for six hours. Now look here, we talk about satellites. It still maybe could not be a satellite, but if ever there is a satellite that's going to be captured, this is it. This is on a straight path. It's going around the world and not all crooked on different paths and tra trajectories at a certain speed. It's maintaining itself as it's crossing the sky. It could be a very small asteroid, but I doubt it because it looks to be on a direct mission somewhere. So they could be UFOs, they could be anything, but this is in the constellation of Orion. We're looking at Betelgeuse to see what's roaming around there. So I came outside and decided to start doing some talking with the infrared outside so you guys can get a feel of what I'm doing outside. And look what came into view while I was outside talking. Just before I looked into the viewfinder, there's actually an asteroid, a sliver, coming by down towards Betelgeuse. And they have their path because they're going by the same paths, all these slivers. So this is Betelgeuse that we're looking at right now in the constellation of Orion. So Betelgeuse is over top of the constellation of Orion. So where the belt is, where those three same stars, similar stars, should go up over top and it's the orange star. Go all the way over to the next biggest, brightest star is Aldebaran, way, way over two lengths, and that's in the Taurus constellation. And I'm waiting for the next meteor showers in April, from the 18th to the 28th, will be the meteor showers in the constellation of Lyra. 
should be about five an hour. They, they're usually not long tails in the constellation of Lyra, the meteors. They usually um, can produce big massive fireballs, so we'll be looking at that in the coming weeks. Ah, it's cold out here and worth every minute. So we saw a lot of activity uh, just around Betelgeuse and we're still in the constellation of Orion but uh, the, the belt, Orion's belt is way below here and then if you keep going downwards you'll go to Rigel Star and uh, that's what we're going to go check out in a couple of seconds here, Rigel Star because wow there was so much activity. Uh, here's another one, another sliver coming in uh, beside Betelgeuse. So here we are, Rigel. So we're in the constellation of Orion now again, but we're at the bottom of the constellation. We're looking at Rigel Star. You can see right there, live. Now this section took me about 20 minutes just to set up with all the circles around it, but it's going to be well worth it. We're looking at Rigel Star right now, and this second object just came into view, and they're all on the exact same trajectory. A third one is going to come into view in a couple of seconds, so watch these going by. And they're, they are at the same speed, um, different times that they're going by, but almost all together. Here's the third one coming out on the bottom there. So this is one instance and a matter of maybe 30, 35 seconds that these three objects went by Rigel Star in the constellation of Orion. Watch this, the same trajectory, about two and a half minutes after, here it's coming in right underneath Rigel, but watch this. Three, two, one, right on top without cutting, but watch the flash. I think I know where the flashes are coming from. Check the flash in front of this object now. Wow, do you see that? So many things we're gonna be able to see. This is incredible for me. I never even thought in my life that we were able to catch a meteor or a falling star. I thought it was near impossible. Did not know anything about the infrared or any of these devices, you know? I was a photographer here on Earth. Didn't know much about space, but it's just so much out there. And you know what? The interesting part is that we're seeing things that aren't even being mentioned. See, this is a giant flash that's in front of this asteroid. So we're looking for what these flashes are. Could they be asteroids, you know, just fireballs and, you know, fireballs that reach oxygen over Earth, um, the outer layer of Earth's atmosphere. We are going to see these explosions. Maybe it's not just that because there's so many events. So it could be so many things, but we, we're seeing it um, as it's going by. And now we're, wait till this is over. It's almost out of the view here. And we're going to go over to see um, Aldebaran in the constellation of Taurus. So, wow, I, I'm just walking away to start let, letting the camera film and already objects are starting to fly by so we're um, right in front of Aldebaran in the constellation of Taurus after that and I don't think in this video but I mean now say to yourself guys I gathered eight hours of footage see how close it went to the star here this object as it's going by pretty cool to be able to catch so we'll be catching so much I got eight hours of footage that I got on February 7th last night and I filmed straight through from midnight to two in the morning <laughs> and uh, there was a lot of activity. So we won't be able to see it all in one day, but uh, I'll get a part two up right after the live stream tonight. So I'll have a lot up today, two videos plus the live stream. I wanted to go over to play these. Can we see it? That is Pleiades. Also known as Messier 45. It's a deep sky object. They call it also the Seven Sisters. They're hot blue planets, probably a hundred billion years old, million years old. So they say the Pleiades. This is in the constellation of Taurus. I'll get another one up after the live stream, guys. So this was a pretty cool one. And we saw some objects over Rigel 
star. Three of them that looked like they were in some kind of formation on the same trajectory. Here, another dark object going by. More to come, guys, is all um, so many constellations that we can view, and that's what we'll be doing after the live stream. I just want to thank all of you for following the research and for taking the time to subscribe to this channel.